Um, it's a real pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. I appreciate Josh asking me to be here and I've gotten to meet Josh and Chad. Appreciate them and all they do in, at 5Q. Um, today I've been asked to share how Love Worth Finding actually uses email challenges to keep retention, to hold our subscribers and to engage our subscribers in, um, in a longer period of time. But first, before we start, I'd like to share a story. So sit back and relax. Uh, I want to share a story about little Johnny. Little Johnny got to school and his math teacher had a question for him. And his math teacher asked, little Johnny, if you had $3 in one pocket and $4 in the other pocket, what would you have? And little Johnny answered and said, I'd have on somebody else's pants. And so I just wanted to start today with that to say, how many of us can relate to little Johnny got somebody else's pants on? Um, actually, that is a story straight from Dr. Rogers. And we at Love Worth Finding have the opportunity and the privilege of sharing his legacy ministry. I think if you've been on earlier, you've heard Bobby talking about the opportunities and just the challenges that we have to share the great um all of the great content that he has left for us. And, um, and the way, one of the ways we wanna do that is to engage with our subscribers, to engage with our website visitors and to allow them to, to take advantage of even more content. And um, we're just here to, to give it away. And so one of the ways that I'm sure as you, with your ministry that you do that is with lead magnets and a free resource that you offer for your people. Um, and one of the ways that we do that is to offer that um, as a doorway into the ministry to just to give away and to encourage people and to help them mature in their faith. Um, so I'm going to share my screen and get started. Can you see that? All right, um, so I just wanna talk about how to retain our visitors and how we're doing that through email challenge. Uh, what does it take to hold on to this retention and to keep our visitors and our subscribers um, focused and with us on, um, on, our, on the journey? Um, so I'm making sure that we can see the presenter mode. Okay, so how do I get it to not presenter mode? Let's see. Let, me, let me start over here. Hmm, I'm still doing the same thing. Can you see it now? Yep, that Let's looks great. That. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, so how do we do that? Well, I'm going to start with good intentions, good insights, and good ideas. So first of all, our good intentions, you know, so many of us have gone to other websites and um, we've downloaded the free resource. We've, we've downloaded, um, gotten an email from it, downloaded the PDF that they've sent us, but we totally forget about it. It's just kind of like out of sight, out of mind. And um, the thing that we thought that we really wanted, we just, we've just totally forgotten about that. Um, the maybe our, maybe we opened the email, maybe we even downloaded it, but we just never got to, to consume the content. And, you know, you've worked so hard on what you're, we're putting out for your people, for your ministry, that you don't want them to miss it. And so you want them to get it. Um, and so that's where um, we came up with the email challenges. And some of the advantages I feel like for the email challenges are that it's bite-sized content, it's day-to-day -day touch point because these do go by email day-to-day -day, and it's seen over time. Um, so when you have one PDF, you get one touch point, they get one email, they download it. But this is just an example of our email challenge and we send, this is, this is our 15 days of finding encouragement. We send this not only in one email, but we send it in 15 emails. So they actually are getting 15 days of touch point from Love Worth Finding. We're dropping into their inbox 15 consecutive days. And that just helps build our brand, um, our credibility. And also we're showing them that we are trustworthy, that we have we are proving to, um, to provide what we promised that we would give them. And, um, and this is just a great way to, to work with an email challenge versus just a straight PDF. 
And so I just wanna share with you some of the insights that we have found at Love Worth Bonding and some, just some of the um, actual um, um, numbers that we've, that we've experienced. So um, at the beginning, we would just share a simple PDF and ours just happened to be a booklet um, just a PDF of that booklet, something like how to have a meaningful quiet time. Again, great content. Um, so helpful to any Christian wanting to grow. And like Bobby had said earlier, and I know Chad has talked about, Kenny has talked about that we're here to help people mature in their faith. We want into the hands of giving it away. But we found that we were only seeing 450 downloads a month and then from those downloads we really weren't sure were they were they reading it were they even downloading it yes they may have opened the email but did they even read it we just weren't sure and then so many of our of our friends told us you know I downloaded that but I totally forgot just like the intention was there well what we found was that the um that the email challenges actually we saw downloaded 2200 a month and actually that's a pretty impressive um, increase and I tried to do the math and I'm not the greatest at math but I found out that that was somewhere or, or tried to figure out that was somewhere around a 300% increase and um, I may be kind of challenged like Johnny so I'm not sure about that but um, but I just I wanted to share that 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 is a pretty impressive increase um, we did see that we had good open rates for our PDF so we delivered the PDFs and there our open rate was was pretty high um, after all, the people requested the information they they um, they had asked for it. But just keep in mind, this is for one email, just simply one email. There is no follow up unless you set to have a follow up, but it must be intentional. So opening the email and even downloading the PDF, um, it wasn't automatically automatic, and it did not even mean that anybody read it. Okay, and then we have our email challenge open rates. And our email challenge open rates have actually held very steady. We can tell that the content is being consumed because again, it's in smaller bites. And so the emails are smaller and shorter to read. Um, and we see that through our steady open rates. We'd rather have a great open rate for a longer period of time versus just one, one time. And we found using email challenges actually helped us achieve that. As a side note, I do wanna tell you that at the bottom of each one of our emails, we've also taken the advantage of just adding an extra call to action. So the email is providing the information we said that we would give them 15 days of um, finding encouragement. We've given them a scripture and some encouragement with that. But we've also added a call to action at the bottom. This is just an example, but this call to action gives us an opportunity to um, give away more content, push them back to our website, showing them that we still have more relevant material, more um, information that we want to give them. And again, all of that is completely free. We're, we're giving it away. Um, if a lead magnet is something that's part of your strategy and your marketing strategy, the initial contact with people, um, sometimes this e email, email challenge is better than actually a welcome series because I really feel like that the perceived value is much higher. And that's just because they have actually requested the material and um, they are, um, they've, they've already been interested. They're interested in your ministry and they've requested the material and that you're giving away quality resources to your subscriber. I feel like does help with your, um, with them trusting you and just building that relationship to retain them longer. So that's just a little bit about the insights and the numbers that we see. And then also I wanna share some good ideas and um, uh, where did we get our material? Where did we start from? Um, and if you're a teaching, preaching ministry, I know that you have oodles of content. That, that's really probably not your problem. Um, we've made challenges actually from points in a message. Um, we've made challenges from um, printed material that maybe needed to be refreshed. It was just an older piece of material that we did not, um, Feel like we wanted to reprint so we repurposed that into uh into an email challenge um and then we've also taken existing web content and repurposed that also into an email challenge and some of our email challenges are five days seven days 10 days 40 days as much as 52 weeks um, and believe it or not our 52 weeks our 52 week challenge has been one of our most popular challenges. Um, you can see by this chart that 
the different links we've used, um, it's kind of crazy that the shorter ones are the ones that are the least amount subscribed to. Um, but that is what we have found, which has been really um, quite interesting. So just kind of to go through some of those and just to give you some ideas, because maybe this is not something that your ministry has even thought of or um, thought to thought to do, or maybe you just thought this is just too difficult. I don't know, but um, the good ideas that we've had is that, um, is that uh, we, we started with the five C's for faithful moms. This was just a five day, uh, um, five day, email challenge and it had an open rate of 42 percent which is really great um this is actually one it's probably not our biggest audience at all and we've tested some challenges that have had those narrow target audiences and we do see that the that the number of subscribers are down from those um, we also did a seven day so this was seven truths for daily living again the open rate held steady um, we had 10 days, 10 prayers, 10 commandments. That open rate was over 50%, which is a, a very good open rate for an email um, campaign. We had 15 days of finding encouragement. That's a 58% open rate. Then we had 40 days of prayer for America. And again, for 40 days, the open rate held very steady. Again, we're touching, making that touch point 40 consecutive days. And then finally, the 52 promises to discover this year. This is actually 52 weeks. And again, we were quite surprised, but this is one that we did start offering in January. And um, the open rate is still holding at 42, 42.8%. But um, keep in mind, we're in week 42 of this year, and we still have that kind of open rate. So we're, we're looking forward to see how that continues to, to improve. Um, but as we have found content, we've just continued to add to our challenges. We've actually um, started using that as our lead magnet and we do, we, we've been able to, um, to pull one together every single month. Um, we've continued to add them to our pages. And if you need some inspiration, you can go to lwf.org slash challenges. All of that is there for our October content. We have 15 days of finding encouragement. We have 15 days of thankfulness. And then we have 25 days of anticipation, which will be Christmas themed. So those are just some ideas if you're, if you're needing some ideas. Um, my suggestion to, would be for you to just start small. Um, don't be afraid to try something bigger once you kind of get this, um, the, the, the challenges down and you get your templates made and you kind of figure it all out. Um, try something longer because I'm, I'm so glad that we were pushed to try 52 promises to discover this year because we just had no idea that that was going to be such a hit. Um, and again, if you just need some inspiration or encouragement, you can go to lwf.org slash challenges for that. So I just like to encourage you to think outside the box, kind of like wearing somebody else's britches like Donnie. Um, an email drip with smaller bits of content for longer periods of time will help you establish and retain those subscribers for your ministry. Um, it will also offer you the opportunity to provide them valuable content in a way that they can consume it easier. So I hope this has been um, inspirational for you and that you can get creative for your own ministry.